Earlier this morning, I spoke with Minnesota Senator Tina Smith on the bill's passage and what it means to Minnesotans. Take a look. And joining us right now is Senator Tina Smith. Senator, thank you so much for joining us on what I know has been a very long and tiring weekend. Well, thank you, Esme. It's great to be home today. As I just said, I'm back in Minnesota for at least a couple of days after what I think was an extremely productive uh, session in Congress, and I'm so proud of this legislation that we've passed. All right. Uh, 80,000 for individuals is the cutoff for the stimulus check. Um, 150, uh, 160 is for couples. When are we? When are people going to get that check? That's what people want to know. I know. Well, that just goes to show how there are there are things in this bill that are going to be such of such value to Minnesotans all over the state, including this direct cash payment uh, to individuals and families. And as soon as we pass this legislation and the president signs it into law in the House, uh, the president will sign it into law, I expect, by the middle of the month and maybe even as early as late next week. And then that'll go straight to the Department of Treasury and they will go to work to get those checks um, cut and out the door and we'll do it as quickly as they possibly can. But I'm, I'm hoping maybe even within the month. Wow. Um, let me ask you about some of the other provisions that have gotten less publicity. The child tax credit, I've seen an estimate that for the bottom lowest 20% of income earners, this is going to mean a 10% boost in income. This is a huge deal. This is a huge deal. It is one of the most significant actions that Congress has taken in decades to lift children out of poverty. You know, one of the things that we don't really think about in this country, unless it's you, is the number of children that live in families below the poverty line. They're struggling to put a roof over their heads and food on the table. It's one of the reasons that we've seen these dramatic increase in lines at food shelves all over um, Minnesota. This will provide um, a, 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 a tax credit for families with children that will lift, um, it's estimated it could lift as many as 50% of children currently living in poverty out of poverty. Um, it's gonna have a, a really powerful impact on the lives of lots and lots of kids. And, and what I think is so interesting is that this child tax credit will actually come in the form of cash payments to families every month. Yes. So they'll get up to $300 a month. Uh, I would think that, that just budget wise, that would be so much easier if you are trying to put food on the table. You make such a great point. Typically, the way these tax credits work is that you pay taxes in all year long and then you file your tax return and then you get a credit back. Um, a year later, that is not really helping you with your instant needs every month to try to make ends meet. So, that, so getting this so that it's a direct payment every week, an estimation of what your taxes would have been and what that credit should be is gonna make a huge difference. Now there was, there were some stumbling blocks along the way. One of the last holdups actually came from a Democrat, Senator Joe Manchin, about the unemployment benefits. In the end, at his request and insistence, it was scaled back from 400 to $300 a week. Tell us about that. And, and why that happened? Well, we have 50 members in our caucus and every single one of us have things that we care a lot about. Senator Manchin wanted to make this, um, he wanted to negotiate uh, this unemployment insurance benefit. And um, it took a while, but we got it done. And uh, what it will do is it will um, slightly reduce the uh, the unemployment, the extended unemployment benefit. But remember that that benefit is also going to be extended um, through August to September. Hopefully by September, most Minnesota families are going to be back on their feet. But we need to remember that right now, thousands and thousands and thousands of families um, have lost their jobs and are not seeing a path to when they're going to get those jobs back. So that's why this is so important. I think in the moment we were all watching and seeing to what happened with this uh, negotiation, but it's important to remember that every single one of us fought for something in this bill that mattered a lot to us. You know, I fought really hard to make sure that Minnesotans and Americans would never face a um, the need to have uh, to pay for the vaccines that we want everyone to get. And I fought really hard for uh, uh, this bolstering of childcare, which I've heard from Minnesotans is so important. So each one of us fought hard to make this bill as good as it could be. You made headlines this week by saying you, along with Senator Klobuchar, are supporting a change in the Senate rules. It's called the filibuster. It's technical. But kind of what it means is that in order to get most things passed, you need 60 votes, not a majority. Uh, why do you feel so strongly about that? Well, I think that most people don't really understand how the Senate rules work, but this is one rule that has a dramatic impact on the lives of Americans. You know, most 
city councils and county boards and state legislatures. In order to get a bill passed, you get you have to find a majority plus one or 50 plus one of the of the members to be able to support it. The United States Senate is completely different. You have to get 60 percent. Think about this right now in the Senate. We have 50 Democratic members, but those 50 Democratic members represent almost 60 percent of the population of this country. Yet a minority can hold us back from making headway and progress on the things that are so important to Minnesotans. I thought long and hard about this, and I came to the conclusion that we have to get rid of the filibuster. We want to really be able to make progress in this country. All right, and you were able to pass this particular stimulus bill because of a, another technical aspect called reconciliation, but that, that's another show and another topic. Um, <laughs> uh, Senator Smith, thank you so much. I know that you were up all night, as, as were all the senators, um, a couple of nights ago, so thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Esme. Take care. You too.